Hi folks, it's Evil here from Flounder's Lure Company. Welcome to this beautiful, beautiful winter day. I'm here with Antonio, our boatless angler. He's rigging up. I brought two rods with me today. I'm gonna, we're gonna be fishing for trout, and I'm gonna be running a one-two punch. I'm gonna be running a bead, but I'm gonna tip it with some row. And I brought some uh, catch-a-trout uh, pre-tied uh, mesh bags that uh, I'm gonna use today. And this rod's got a, a more of a natural colored, uh, glow colored um, bead. And this one, it's got a chartreuse bead. So, boy that sun is bright this morning. Okay, so what I've done is off the chartreuse bead, I just tied, so there's three different colors of, of bags to choose from. I choose the chartreuse to match the bead. So I've got the bead about, oh, about an inch above the hook. And then I'm tipping it with my, uh, with my catch a trout bag. And then as you can see here, I am running the Thunder Mist T-Turn and I've got a drop to about, oh, I don't know, about six inches to a sinker. And the T-Turn is gonna keep me tangle free, keep my bait running out there very nicely. And I've got a bit of a longer lead this morning and that's because the water is so clear. So general rule of thumb, the clearer the water, the longer the lead. Okay. Because the trout are a bit, they're a very spooky fish. But if the water's a bit murky, then you can get by with it with a shorter lead. And all I'm gonna do, folks, is just bounce that along the bottom, work it along the current here. So I cast it upstream and bounce it downstream. And what'll happen is the trout will see that bead and bag going by. In fact, that, uh, that row is gonna give me a little bit of extra scent. And then they'll typically smash it as it's drifting by. Okay, so we've got a nice sunny day upon us, but it is cold. It was minus three this morning. Minus four actually coming here, Celsius. Uh, but with that sun out, it actually makes it feel a little warmer. So that's, that's the rig. And as you can see, it's nice and tangle free, which I really, really like. And Antonio, are you about ready? Not yet. Not quite yet, okay. What color are you going with? I'm going with the pink. You're going with hot pink, okay. But Antonio's not running any beads. You're just running the straight row, right? That's the plan for now. Yep. For now, okay. Depends what strikes first, I guess. <laughs> yeah, okay, exactly. well, you know what? It's a beautiful morning. And that's the thing about these crisp, cool mornings. When you're out here fishing, a lot of birds diving, beautiful river, the sun's out. I'm gonna actually enjoy the whole day out here today. And of course, catching fish, always a bonus. Stay tuned, folks. John. Yes. I think I saw that hook set. <coughs> Beautiful. Yeah. It's a good one. Feels like a good one? Yeah, it does. I got six pound test. Six pound test? <laughs> yeah, so we'll see how this goes. Okay. Ooh, six, we just jumped. Six pound test and no bead. Straight, just a straight row. Straight row bag, eh? Hot pink. Hot pink. You went with a hot pink? Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Well, that's a sign. I'm gonna take my bead off and I'm gonna go with, uh, with just a straight row. We'll change it up. And that's why we always try to do something a little different, fish a little different, the two of us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Kind of see what's working. And uh, once you figure out what's working, you stick with the pattern, right? You don't play around. Oh, you got a nice one. This trout is playing around. <laughs> Oh, doing acrobats down there jumping. That's a beautiful steelhead, folks, right there. So the sun just tucked in away under those clouds, which has cooled things down a bit. But I bet your hands are pretty, oh, whoa, pretty warm right now. It's a big fish, actually. You got a good one. He's gonna spool you. He is. So we were just talking how I don't have not much line on the spool. <laughs> Just literally about 10 minutes ago, Antonio was saying, I don't have much line on this spool. I said, look at, I brought a bulk. I got a bulk spool of line here. Feel free to spool up. Well, I'll take my chances. Okay, here you are. Yeah. <laughs> and you got a good one too. Oh boy, you gotta love it. That's a nice steelhead. Nice, beautiful silver color. I saw him just flop out of the water. You see there, that? Yeah. All right, he's coming back. Holy cow. What a fight. Good fight, eh? Is it ever? Oh, oh, another jump. Beautiful fish. Oh. Doing barrel rolls. I don't know what he's doing over there. <laughs> he's flopping around. I wonder if you got your line wrapped around him maybe a bit. Oh, 
Well, that's true. They, when they spin like that, eh? They exactly. They spin they wrap around. Wrap themselves like a like it, a roast. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's coming in. I'm ready with the net, Antonio. He's not wrapped. He's not wrapped. No. no. Should say sheet. You got a what size T turn you got there? The, the, the small. The size tiny one. small. That's what I got on as well. The size small T turn. Could have went with extra small too with this clear water, but. Oh, I, actually, I do have the extra. small. Oh, you have extra small. Yeah. Okay, I've just got a small one on. He saw you in the net, and he said, "No, I'm not ready yet." Oh, that's a beauty. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's a beautiful steelhead. Antonio, that's a really, really nice fish. Let's see if I can get her in here. I like all these rocks. Get on this one. Yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous, Antonio. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Wow. Nice. That is one beautiful steelhead right there. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I see your hot pink bag right there in the <laughs> side of the mouth. <laughs> and you put some styrofoam floats in your uh, row? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, to help keep it, keep it buoyant, eh? Yeah, I got as, a as you're size along. Uh, six hook, too. Octopus. Size six? Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice size hook. I like to use a six or a four. A little bit, even a little bit bigger, but that's a beautiful fish. Um, I've got some needle nose over there, Antonio. I'll go get them for you, okay? And we'll snap a photo for you? Sure. Okay, hang on. I'll go get the needle Thanks. nose. Gotcha. Good photo. Good fish. And you know what? He's going to make a beautiful dinner. In fact, I got a great steelhead recipe. You should try it out. I've got it online. I'll put a link in the description. You can check it out if you're interested in a good right. steelhead recipe. You can try that one tonight. Sounds good. All right. So time to get the lines back out. I'm going to switch up to just a single row bag. Okay, I'm going to keep right. doing what I'm doing. Hey, <laughs> it's working. You know what, folks? It might be cold out, but when you get a fish on the line and you're enjoying nature, you're enjoying the day, that's what it's all about. If you get an opportunity, enjoy this great sport of fishing. Get on out there, get a line wet. I'm going to re-rig and get out there again. I want to thank you wherever you're tuning in from today for joining Antonio and I in today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. Beautiful fish. The water's cool. cold. It's very cold, <laughs> I know. It's freezing cold. All right, I got to see if these fingers will work now to re-rig. Re